Among the many NVIDIA RTX gaming laptops released at the beginning of the year, Origin had an interesting hook. Rather than releasing a 15.6 inch model like everyone else, it decided to give gamers more screen space with the 16.1 inch EVO 16S. Despite the extra screen real estate, the EVO 16S is just as light if not lighter than many 15.6 inch laptops. It gives up nothing in specs either, packing up to an NVIDIA RTX 2080 GPU and a 9th generation Intel 6 core CPU. All that might sound too good to be true, so is there a catch? Let's dive in. The main selling point of this laptop is the 16.1 inch IPS display, so let's start there. Personally, I love having the extra size, particularly since it doesn't weigh any more than my Gigabyte Aero 15X. For gaming, the 144Hz refresh rate is more than adequate, though a spate of new 240Hz laptops just arrived from Asus, Dell, and others. Multimedia creators might find the display unremarkable, as it's not 4K and doesn't cover a huge color gamut like Gigabyte's Aero 15Y9. But you can get it factory calibrated for a price, and the extra real estate is a big bonus for content creators. It's remarkable that Origin squeezed so much power into a 4.6 pound laptop that's just 19.8 millimeters thick. Oddly though, the EVO 16S has larger bezels than other recent laptops. As a result, it's fairly wide at 14.9 inches, so it barely, and I mean barely, fits into my messenger bag. With that slightly larger bezel though, Origin was able to fit a webcam into the top of the laptop. That means it's actually useful, unlike the Nostril Cam on Gigabyte's Aero 15X. With tons of NVIDIA RTX laptops on the market to choose from, it's the details that count, and Origin has nailed most of them. The EVO 16S looks sharp and bright red and has subtle accents that don't scream gaming. It also feels reassuringly solid. I find the keyboard feel and travel to be very good, though ever so slightly mushy, which might be a concern for gamers. The trackpad is surprisingly accurate and responsive, with separate buttons that I prefer with just the right force. The Aero 15X, by comparison, has fairly stiff buttons. As for ports, Origin has everything I need, including a pair of high-speed USB 3.1 Type-C ports, two super-speed USB 3.1 ports, display port, a media card reader, Ethernet port, and separate headphone and microphone ports. As with other laptops, the RTX 2080 Max-Q GPU has a base clock of just 735 MHz, but overclocks at up to 1300 MHz. On benchmarks, it was just a touch slower than Gigabyte's similarly equipped Aero 15Y9. Shadow of the Tomb Raider ran at 35 frames per second on an external monitor in 4K HDR, with ray tracing and DLSS both enabled. Running on the laptop screen alone at 1080p, it easily hit 60 frames per second with all settings cranked. Other games like Hitman 2 and Battlefield 5 performed equally well. If you don't want or care about ray tracing, then you can spend a lot less cash to get NVIDIA's all-new GTX 1660 Ti laptops. However, the RTX cards provide more concrete benefits for content creation too. It can handle 8K video playback and encodes videos and photos much faster than the last generation GTX 1080 cards. The Origin EVO 16S does have one weak point. The battery is just a 62 watt hour model, much smaller than the 94 watt hour battery in the rival Gigabyte Aero 15Y. That certainly made it lighter, but I only managed to get five hours in the battery rundown test. Doing any gaming will drain it a lot faster than that, so you'll likely need to have the power supply handy. Luckily, the power brick is one of the lightest I've seen for a gaming laptop. If you're torn between 15 and 17 inch laptops, Origin's EVO 16S is a great compromise. The screen size makes it better across the board for content creation, entertainment, and gaming, yet it's still very slim and light for a gaming laptop. The top end configuration that I tested is priced at around $2,700. That compares to $3,600 for Gigabyte's Aero 15Y9, which does have better battery life, more storage, and a 4K screen. Meanwhile, Razer's 15-inch blade is priced at around $3,000 for the same configuration. The main weakness is the battery life, so if you do a lot of gaming on the go, it may not have the endurance you need. Otherwise, Origin's EVO 16S delivers excellent performance and portability for the price, with the added bonus of a bigger screen. 